Hi guys, I'm making Korean chili miso grilled shrimp. Well, it's so easy to make. Literally, you got the shrimp, you marinate it right away, you put it on the grill. Literally, I would say within the 10 minutes, you get the shrimp. What I have today, I have wild shrimp, Korean kujijang, Japanese miso with chili, garlic powder, ketchup, sesame oil, and then I'm gonna show you my favorite combination to eat with that, but I'm gonna show you the recipe of the shrimp, and that's the star of the dish. First step, kujijang, I'm one teaspoon. Japanese chili miso, one teaspoon and a half. Sesame oil, one teaspoon. A little bit of garlic powder, approximately about uh, three pinches. Tomato ketchup, two teaspoon. Stir, stir, stir. Shrimp down. Toss, toss, toss. Make sure all the sauces uh, incorporate in between the shrimp. You know, you see this open up a bit. So they call it butterfly. You can use bamboo skewer, but I'm gonna use a stainless steel. If you are using a bamboo skewer, making sure that you boil the water five minutes, let the water absorb into the bamboo so it doesn't burn. That's a tip. Get it from the tail, you just skew, curve it down nicely. All the tail on one side. You know, after you marinate it, you don't need to marinate it for so long because it is such a nice way to still eat the, the flavor of the shrimp. So it doesn't get the shrimp all cured, the word is. This is fantastic with chicken. Fish, if you decided to use scallop, it's also amazing. And this sauce, you can make a little bit of a, a batch and keep it in a jar and put it in a fridge. You can always use it. And that's my little love. So. As you see, I have a, a little bit of a Korean grill. Keep it about a little bit hotter than medium hot. Right now in the grill, I want it to hover around, you know, where the circle, where the hose is, so it give a little bit of char. So what I do is I kind of bend. That's what I'm talking about if you have bamboo. Uh, maybe a little bit challenging. Just drill down. Now I'm gonna slow it down a bit. Very really nicely. How long do you cook it, what do you say? I would say uh, two minutes each side. I'm going to check one side. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, we flip it on the other side. The grill is almost like a smile. Flip it on this side, I turn around. Yeah, half, look at that, it's almost like a uh, smile. It's like the shrimp is smiling at us right now. I kept the tail upside so they don't actually burn uh, during the, the grilling. How do you know when it's ready? Well, it means when it's burnt. No, I'm just joking. You know, when you see the shrimp where the butterfly is, this is a little bit of white, it means it's done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it on this plate first. You see how easy to make this? So I'm going to show you my combination of what is a perfect marriage to eating something like this. So first of all, I just make a little toast and then I just cut the little topping of the, uh, the tomato. Thin slices. Garlic. Well, I want to have the whole garlic. So, you know, patience is the only thing to peel this. Black pepper, some parsley. Need a little bit of freshness. Toast is ready. Get garlic, give a little. It's like, you know, it's like playing guitar. A little bit rub, sand it down a little bit. Simple, little olive oil. The olive oil on the toast. Toss, toss, toss. Mush a little bit. Mush to tomato. You know, put the tomatoes right on the top. Make it like, like a little crostini. I don't like the skin. Chop parsley. Baby basil on the top, a few pieces, a little bit of drizzle of balsamic. Oh yeah. You know what is so great about this dish? It's dairy free. Now we're doing some plating and also I'm going to share with you guys how I'm going to eat this. This is the crostini of tomato, garlic and herb balsamic vinegar. Some uh, Korean chili threads on the top. This is my simplest Korean chili. This is my simple miso garlic chili Korean Korean chili. No. This is my simple Korean miso. No. This is my simple garlic Korean 
chili miso shrimp. Enjoy. Mmm. And you know what I really love? The chili threads. Really highlight the little bit of that kind of peppery taste. One bite of shrimp. You know what's so great about this dish? Eating room temperature, it is the best. Because you can make this for the party. You don't have to like stay all night in the kitchen. Put this on the table, put it on the platter, crouton next to it, the crostini. I think it's thumbs up. Oh, if content. you like this video, hit the hit. If you like this uh, video, hit the subscribe button. That's it, right? Yeah, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And subscribe. And subscribe. And turn on notifications. And turn on the note. No. <laughs> turn on the note. How do you say that? Notification. No, notification. <laughs> notification. Yeah, turn on, turn on the notification. Turn on notifications to be alerted when I post a new video. <laughs> turn it a notification <laughs> when you're alerted <laughs> when a video come out. Ha ha ha!